In Creole Parametric, you can use the Flexible Modeling Offset command to provide clearance around the bodies that you generate using Boolean operations. Let me show you what I mean by that. Here is the original model that I used for demonstrating multi-body functionality. To orient to what I have in here, there is a base feature, or excuse me, a base body, which is sheet metal. That's not gonna factor into this. I have a bracket and a bridge. Let me hide the bridge to show you what the bracket looks like. Now let me bring back the bridge and then hide the bracket. And so right now the two bodies are interfering with each other. I want to subtract the bridge from the bracket. So I can click on the bracket command and then from the mini toolbar, here we can see the body subtract command. That brings up the dashboard for Boolean operations. We have the body to modify already selected. Let me activate the collector for the modifying body. I will select the bridge over here. And now we get a preview of the result. I actually want to retain the bridge, so I will click keep bodies. So I'm happy with this. Let's hit the check mark. And now we can see the body subtract feature in the model tree as well as in the body for bracket one. Let's hide the bridge to take a look at what we have now. I will hide this. Okay, it looks like we still have the geometry from where the pin would go. Let's create a split body to get rid of that. And I will select for my splitting object, this cylinder. It automatically extends the splitting object. This looks good. Let's see, oh wait, it wants to know what body to split. Let me make sure I select the bracket body. Now that looks good. Let's hit the check mark in here. And so now I've got a new body over here. While I'm at it, let's rename this to call it pin, just pin. And let's hide it so that we don't see it. And right now the bridge and the bracket are a perfect fit. And in the real world, I want would want to provide some clearance to account for tolerances in manufacturing. To do that, we can use flexible modeling. I'll go to the flexible modeling tab. Let's start by selecting a seed surface, and then we can use the different shape selection options. Boss, nope, that's not what I want. Nope, I don't want bosses. Okay, cut selection, that looks pretty good. Those are the interior surfaces in there. So I will select them. And then from the mini toolbar, we can use the offset command. And I can drag this out over here. You can see how it offsets those surfaces for providing clearance. In this particular case, I don't need that much, maybe 10 thousandths. And when I'm happy with that, I can hit the check mark. And now we have clearance between the bridge and the bracket. Let's bring back the bridge, make it visible again. Same with the pin, let's make that visible again. To get the corresponding components over on the other side, let's go back to the model tab. I'm going to select the bracket and the pin using the control key. And then from the mini toolbar, I can choose the mirror command. Let's pick the plane that we want to mirror about. And when I hit the check mark, we now have two additional bodies in here. When you use the mirror command, it's going to generate new bodies. And so in that way, I've created my geometry. I can then do additional changes like apply different materials or appearances. But Using the flexible modeling offset command is how you provide that clearance around the different bodies that you've performed operations on, like Boolean operations of merge, intersect, or subtract, or split body. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.